Citizens, it's that time. You are officially in the Alert Zone. Welcome to the new channel, the Alert Zone TV. I am the wizard, the host, Uncle James. So, if you want to become a citizen, you already know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, hit the all, hit the bell so you can be notified when we drop out your content. Give the video a like, make sure you share. Make sure you comment whether you like what you hear or not. So, <clears throat> got the Bushmaster AR-15 put it for YouTube. And got the Smith Wesson SD-40 clear for YouTube, nothing in it. Um, it's my home defense, of course. And, well, you guys already know what this represents. I just wanted to chit chat about the anti gun crowd. And I just wanted to point something out to you. In the movie A Thin Line Between Love and Hate, Martin Lawrence's character in that movie was coming to see Lynn Whitfield, and the security stopped him. And, you know, for anybody that's seen that movie. And he made fun of the cop because the cop just had a flashlight and he didn't have firearms, you know, he wasn't uh, armed security. So for the anti-gun crowd who feel like nobody should have firearms and what have you, I got a question. If you're in the middle of being SA, you know, assaulted, or you in the middle of, hold on, hold on one minute. Sorry about that, everybody. But <clears throat> you in the middle of something happening to you and you dial 911 and they show up empty handed. In the back of your mind, you will be saying, what the hell did you guys come here for in the middle of a robbery or burglary or whatever? Empty handed. Law enforcement can't enforce the law without this. Without that. They can't enforce the law without being armed. <clears throat> so, for the anti-gun crowd, I got another question. When you get into issues and you call your brother or your uncle or your dad, what are you going to do when you call them to show up to defend you and they show up empty-handed and meet one of these? Because that's happened to a lot of people in New Orleans. Um, over the years when I was young, I remember guys would show up empty handed as a dog. And the guy they were showing up, they got called for, wasn't talking. He was slaying iron. Some of those people didn't make it. You know what I'm saying? So, if firearms is not your thing, that's fine. But don't demonize the rest of us that's law abiding citizens that own firearms and that use firearms because we see the writing on the wall. They've already done test runs and they're doing test runs. Now they, you see the price of eggs, they telling you, I guess chickens coming alive every day. Chickens growing wings and all that back now, but they, I guess they don't strike with the eggs. So nevertheless, eventually you're gonna need one of these to put food on your table. Those of us who got them, what if we decide, well, since you voted against these and since you think they're so bad of a thing, well, you just eat whatever you can pull out of the ground. The rest of us will have a meal. Stuff hit the fan. Only so much vegetation out there. With these, we can go out in the woods and do what we need to do and bring home food to feed our families. In this world, everybody don't agree on everything. But I'm going to say this again. As a law-abiding citizen, as a legally, lawfully firearms owner, if firearms is not your thing, that's fine. Don't demonize everybody else for having them. Because just think about this, and I'm going to close out for the night. If you dial 911 and they showed up empty-handed, what would you do? Because I know if 911 showed up empty handed, they ain't engaging in nothing with nobody. They're going to tell you, lady, young, young. Sir, young, young. 
Just think about that. If firearms legal, because I noticed they attack the le- the law abiding citizens more than anybody. If firearms is not your thing, that's fine. Just don't demonize the rest of us for practicing a constitutional right. It's a constitutional right to bear arms. Till next time, everybody. Stay safe. Stay on. Stay on high, high alert. We are definitely back in the lab working. It's going to take a little bit to get the show back up and going, but the program will keep moving forward. Y'all be safe out there.